the Monument Circle is now closed to drivers and what city officials are calling an effort to make downtown more pedestrian friendly. Yeah, Fox 59's Kaylee Schuyler explains what to expect from Spark on the Circle. Kaylee? The Southwest Quadrant and Monument Circle is transforming to a pedestrian only space. The city is setting up what they call a mini park for food, games and drinks, but it's also a test run to close Monument Circle to traffic. You can expect uh, something to be happening every single day. Starting this Saturday, Spark on the Circle is giving residents exactly what they've asked for, according to city officials. Car free spaces to enjoy, uh, similar to how they did during COVID-19. Uh, they wanted places to be able to eat and drink and sit outside in shade. The mini park will host different events from 11 a.m. to dark throughout the year. It hopes to grow foot traffic. It helps to give people a reason to stay downtown, not just to come down for an event and leave. The city has been working and tweaking the plan since 2015. They say just last year was a real test when Sparkfest shut down Monument Circle for a weekend. We really saw that there wasn't like a whole bunch of traffic backed up or people getting upset. It's not really a place that's meant for everybody to drive through to get somewhere. It's, it's just a destination location. Now drivers will still be able to drive through the other side of Monument Circle and officers will be there 24 seven making sure everyone stays safe. But I think another public space public safety strategy here is to bring positive activity to spaces because what we know is that when you have a lot of people hanging out doing fun activities or doing good things, it deters the negative activity. The city will be working over the next 36 hours, planting trees, installing tables and making final touches in preparation for the opening. This uh, has been designed with such intentionality to give this park-like nature feel right here in the heart of the city. The soft opening is taking place on Saturday, followed by a ribbon cutting on Tuesday. The space is here to stay through November. In downtown, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 59 News.